We activated this elevator for a reason. Oh, the frame rate's dipping hard. I'm really sorry. I don't know why I just did that. It's like that thing that happened at the beginning of the game. I'm not sure why it's doing that randomly. It's probably because of how I'm recording. It's just a recording curse. But yeah, as you can see, it's going really slow when the elevator opens. Sorry, it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> at least the gameplay part of it, for the most part, is doing pretty good. Alright, so... None of these rooms are... Yeah, I don't even know. That was my reaction when that first happened in my first playthrough. Just seeing a fourth floor, it was very, very creepy. But first cutscene, because we need that. Alright, so a strange lady is walking into an antique shop. Huh. Once again, I don't think the cutscene is supposed to be going that slow, so sorry about that. I don't know what's actually happening. I think it's trying to load the new area. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, the hospital wasn't going to stay clean for too long. For la laser I can't even speak. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this is the Otherworld Hospital. And it's not exactly in critical shape. Okay, so we actually can't use that. Good to know. Um, so I think I actually have to fight a couple of enemies with my steel pipe. I forgot if, where, where the enemies will be. So let's just try to check these rooms. Yeah. It does that once. That's pretty creepy. Um, okay. So Otherworld Hospital is... Not too bad, it can get pretty annoying with the enemies. Well, the enemies aren't actually that bad in this area. They're, if anything, they're really, they're really pretty simple for this area, honestly. And there isn't much of the puzzles here, so we should be okay. And, um, yeah, so we should be okay. Which is good. Um, we we'll have to head down these stairs. The music gets really creepy for really no reason. <laughs> Let's go to the third floor. Oh, that was a pretty bad fight. I should not have taken the stab. Um, okay. Sword health is okay. I mean, our health could still be loads better. Well, I wasn't done with this room. Yeah, the music's really creepy here. You know, it's kind of catchy too. Plate of turtle. So we're gonna meet. Oh, I did. I forgot that happened. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So this room. I remember. All right. So bird cage. It's empty. Good to know. There's nothing else in this room, so... Anyways, let's head on, I guess. We have a save point. I'm actually gonna use the save point here, just in case something terrible happens. For the most part, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna try not to save scum. You don't really need to save scum in this game, honestly. It's not that bad. Since I know one of these rooms has a nurse that can be pretty annoying to kill with a melee weapon, I'm actually gonna shotgun it just to be efficient, so like it'll die fast, because the handgun takes a bit too long. It's actually this room, I think. Yep. Alright, there you go. Nice. That's probably the only time I'll need to do that, because the weapon I'm getting has I've been building up the suspense to. It's a very good weapon. Oh, and look at that. We got a- we got ourselves a... Um, okay. We got ourselves a health drink. Very nice. A steel plate is screwed to the wall. 
And I'm not even sure, I don't think you can actually take it down yet. There is another time in the game where it will be important. But I'm, I don't think, sorry about how I just randomly strafe. So I'm trying to do it a quick turn, you press L1 and R1 together. And it, so, but L1 and R1 are the strafe buttons, so if I hold R1, I'm gonna do that to the left a little bit. And, yeah, but if you press them together, um, you can do that, but sometimes like, my timing is like way off, and it's not exactly pretty. Okay, I know one of these rooms is pretty annoying, so I forgot which one it is, though. Um, so I know one of these rooms I'm actually really gonna need to capitalize on a weapon, but yeah. And I, I, I don't know, I mean, that, that, that shotgun went really well. But I still just want to play it a bit safe and not use the shotgun too much. Because you know me, I'm, I like to try to save my good ammo, or good stuff, for that matter. Like even in an RPG, I'm gonna... I'm gonna want to, like... Alright, I didn't actually, I've never actually implemented that strategy. It's pretty good though, actually. Oh, I was very ill-timed with that. Um, it's okay though. At least I didn't take too much damage, even though I am probably, no, I don't actually need to use a healing item just yet. Alright, cool. Anything in here? Nope. I probably could have ran past them just as easily, but... What is this? We have a plate of cats. Okay, cool. Turn, please, Harry? Thank you. <laughs> Harry Mason. He's not very good at turning around. I think I can check my map, finally. I have explored pretty much every room, and there was a TV in there. Well, actually, it needs to come back to that, so... Alright, I'm gonna really quickly make a stop at the basement to get my great item. My based item. Man, the lag in the elevator is just gonna kill me, man, if I'm being honest. This the lag did not happen in my test playthrough. Okay, it's really bad when you can't see where these enemies are. Alright, well we made it. Alright. This is what we need. The hammer. The hammer is the best thing ever made, really. There's not much else to describe it. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and completely leave this place for now, and we'll come back when we need to, which will be a bit later. For now, I'm gonna head to the second floor. I forgot if we can actually access other floors via the elevator room, or if we actually need to. Um, if we actually need to use the stairs, we might actually need to use the stairs, so I'm probably going to have to backtrack a little bit, sadly, but it's okay. Yeah. We're definitely going to need to. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> We're actually going to need to do a little bit of backtracking. That's not terrible. Lag. <laughs> Sorry about that lag. It happens, man. There's not much I can do about it, really. On such a bad computer, I mean, I'm trying my best here. I guess all that matters really is that I'm LPing the game, at least, and it's not, like, I've seen worse playthroughs in terms of frame rate, okay guys? It's it's pretty laughable sometimes. Alright, so the enemy is over here. The only thing is you can't, like, be, like, locked on and then move in, but it's okay, because as you can see, I just decimated this enemy. Oh. They died. Like, actually died. That's gonna be useful later. Not right now. I do hear another nurse down here. So I need to, like, learn how to... There's a way to, like, do a big hop backwards, but it's... For these enemies, it's not exactly mandatory, so... Okay, so... Um... I'm not going to make any jokes about hentai, because that's kind of unoriginal, but we did pick up that blood pack earlier, and if we try to go over there, we're obviously going to get hit, so 
What we need to do, hopefully I'm close enough, is use the blood pack. So we can create a diversion. Um, these weird tentacles are going to move over to that blood pack instead, and we can just go ahead and walk right by to get the plate of Hatter. So that's how you do that. Kind of tripped me up on my first playthrough. I'm pretty sure all of us tried to shoot it like 50 times before we realized it's not possible. So, yeah. <laughs> Killed. Very nice. Um, I forgot what's even over here. Oh, it's the lighter. I think you can actually just run by that enemy for the most part, and it's okay. But I've I've done it like I did it in my test playthrough. I think. Did I check all the rooms? Okay, yeah, I did. It's locked. Would you know? And I think this is where a puzzle comes into play. So really quickly, let me just check, make sure I have all my items, which I don't. Okay. Because I think this is where that puzzle is, right? Yeah, it is. It's right here, isn't it? Wait, let me just check. Yep, we're in the right place. So I should have all the items, which I don't. So I need four of those little plates. Now, I did forget whether or not one of the plates is actually downstairs. I don't think we're supposed to be down here yet. I haven't been down here this early before. I'm sure they try to cut you off from coming down here anyways. Now we can head through the first floor. As you can see, I'm just mauling these enemies. It's really nothing. We actually need a key to actually go through that room anymore, so... I'm gonna try to find this uh, plate. But I'm being quite honest, I've honestly forgotten where it is. <laughs> oh man, that room. Whatever. <laughs> Got me kind of, I'm not even gonna lie, really. Hmm, okay, where is this last plate? I don't want to get too frustrated here. This is just supposed to be a fun little playthrough of a game that I really enjoy. I don't want to get mad at it because I can't find an item. A key item that I need to beat the game, you know. I forgot if it's downstairs. It might actually- or in the basement, I mean. It could be. Oh my god, dude, wrecked. I love this hammer so much. You can literally destroy anything in the game. Like, I'm actually- I'm not, I don't really fight- I don't usually fight this guy. Just because I have a hammer, I'm gonna give it a go. And I'm gonna pick up a health drink in the process. I'm getting a lot of nice little items here just because of this, uh... Just because of exploring and getting the hammer. I try to explore all these little dungeons fully because they're a bit- they're a lot more manageable than the cheap. Oh, here's the last plate. Very nice. I'm actually going to make another save here. Hope my memory card isn't going like crazy full of space. Sorry if you hear background noise. Anyways. Oh, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Um, just a slight little interruption. So, hold on really quickly. Oh, okay, so we can actually use the elevator to access this. I'm just gonna run past him, because we've already done basically everything. Um, my cat might make some noises. He was actually making noises earlier, so... I'm really sorry if he does again, but he's my cat. I mean, I don't really know why he's making these noises. It's really weird he's never done this before. And he's not like, it's not like he's, um, like, injured or anything. I checked, he's fine. It's just... I don't know. He's weird sometimes. So there are four square indentations on the door, and as you can see, there's already looks at, there already appears to be four in there. And we're actually going to need to use this little puzzle here. This little poem, I mean. Clouds flowing over a hill. Sky on a sunny day. Tangerines that are bitter. Lucky four-leaf clover. Violets in the garden. Dandelions along a path. Unavoidable sleeping time. Liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. 
This one kind of tripped me up on my first playthrough, but it's actually kind of simple. You have to go through these things and look at this, and um... Let me just remind you, so we had clouds that were bitter. You can see the white. And the next one was sky on a sunny day. I have a blue square for that. We're, we're thinking about what color um, that these uh, different lines represent. So, um, I'm going to set the plate there. So, yeah. That's pretty much all you have to do. It's really simple. So the next tangerines that are bitter down for that, lucky four-leaf clover. So we need to use the green plate since four-leaf clovers are green. Um, violets, I believe, was the next one, so that's purple. Uh, dandelions along a path or something, that's going to be yellow. And then uh, unavoidable sleeping time, since like you see black in your sleep. And then a uh, square red plate would be a uh, liquid flowing from a slash wrist, aka blood. So that's it, basically. That's pretty much all you need to do. Kind of simple. Pretty cool little puzzle there. It's a lot easier to just hit them with the hammer while they're down than trying to stomp on them. Wow, I, I like one-shot these blue nurses. That's insane. This thing is way too powerful. Then again, it is kind of hard to get a good hit with it. You have to time it properly. So that's why, like, against dogs, it's pretty good as it, like, one-shots them, but you still have to be, like, really precise when you're hitting a dog with a melee weapon. I love the hammer. I try to use it pretty extensively just because of how powerful it is. And yeah, that's gonna be it for you. If you would die, please. Alright. I almost killed the other one as well. Oh, okay. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Or I guess gal. Cause this is actually a nurse, not the doctor enemy that we saw, like we saw earlier. Alright, there you go. Um, I forgot if, which door I'm supposed to go through, it's this one. There's gonna be another enemy in here, I believe. Got it. Alright, and we got the basement storeroom key, we'll definitely need that, so... Alright, so with that in hand, we shall be departing. Let's explore the rest of these rooms. The ones that are open, at least. See, like, it's just so easy, man. It's like, the game becomes kind of a joke. Well, at least some of these enemies become a joke. I mean, of course, you still have some bosses coming up that aren't just going to be one-shotted. Disinfecting alcohol, I'll take that. And there are still even some enemies that you still need to pay mind to, or else they will kind of wreck you. But other than that, especially once you get it for this area. Because this area, the nurses are kind of annoying if you have to do that strategy with the steel pipe. But if you just have the hammer, you really don't really need to do add much to your strategy besides just doing uh, long hits. By the way, I can swing like this with the hammer. Or if I can just like tap A to do like a double swing, but I'm usually holding it down because that does the most damage. So you can kind of add some variety, I guess you can try to do a tap, or you can do like this to stun, then a double tap just for assurance. But usually you're just better off holding it down every time anyways for the hammer because you can just do all the damage instantly. Um, okay. Really quickly, I just want to check my map, make sure we've done everything. Um, so we have... Fully explored. Well, we need to get a videotape soon, which I think might actually be coming up. Um, because I know we have to have a videotape in order to, like, see something pretty cool. I guess important, I should say. Alright, so we're actually gonna head down to the morgue, which is where we need to go next. We'll pretty much just have to go down to the basement, basically.